So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about how to choose the right uh, consulting uh, business model for your business. Um, and, and I have a three, three step uh, framework for this. The first is, um, you know, when you're running a consulting business, it, it is a business uh, after all. So the first um, consideration um, when you choose your business model is that you make sure that you solve a market need, right? There you understand what the market uh, need is and what the client wants and tailor your model so that you are able to provide an outcome for that client, right? Everything starts with market needs and outcomes, right? Um, imagine uh, if uh, a consulting firm, let's say a Deloitte or a, an Accenture or, or whatnot, you know, they have, they, they serve their clients and their, their clients want consultants to come in and do the work for them. But then these consulting companies go in and say, no, we have just a pure, you know, DIY model where we'll just be an advisor. I mean, that doesn't work because it doesn't fit, it doesn't align with the market need, right? So always make sure that you understand and align your business model with the, the needs of the client, right? Number two is, uh, is of course, your capabilities and your uh, expertise. Now you've identified the market need, but do you have the right capabilities and expertise to deliver on those needs uh, with that model, with, your, with, the, with the chosen business model, right? So uh, you've got to be, you've got to like really um, um, understand, have self-awareness and figure out what capabilities and skills and expertise you bring to the table so that you can deliver on those, uh, those needs. Okay, um, and the third consideration is, you know, your own lifestyle requirements. Like consultants start consulting businesses for various reasons. There's, a, there's always um, some other higher goal that consultants are chasing and use consulting as a vehicle to, to reach those goals. You know, sometimes I, you know, I come across consultants that are building a software product on the side and use consulting as a, um, um, as, as a vehicle, as a cash flow vehicle to help pay their bills and stuff. Some, some other consultants um, are, you know, building a, um, um, uh, you know, building a, a small fund for their children's college education. That's why I want to do consulting for a few years because remember consulting can be really profitable, right? And so different people have different goals, um, business goals, personal goals and lifestyle goals. Some others just want to do consulting for a few years um, and funnel all their profits and you know, buy real estate, right? Nothing wrong with that, but you know, it depends on what you want. So the, the, the final criteria, criteria in uh, putting together a business model is to be mindful of your lifestyle goals. If you have a goal of creating a lot of time freedom in your life, you want uh, you know, discretionary time, that's important to you then you know, don't have a long-term goal of doing done-for-you projects where you're going to be potentially working 12 hours or 10 hours a day with many different clients and different types of engagements. Uh, it, that, that can be really hard, right? So be mindful of these three things. Number one, uh, the market need, your expertise and your capabilities, and finally, your um, lifestyle goals.